released in a set of six episodes at the turn of the millennium in Japan, and later brought to Western TV through the After Dark programming block Adult Swim. Gainax, Production IG, and King Records Japan brought us into the world of Fooly Cooly. This is now to Nandaba, a kid at the cusp of 12 convinced that in his world, nothing amazing happens here. Alongside his family, his older brother's girlfriend Mamimi, first-class galactic space patrol officer Haruko Haruhara, Nauta embarks on a journey of self-discovery as he soon embraces a future that awaits him as an adult. However, it's not that straightforward. Given praise for the use of the alternative rock stylings of the Japanese rock band The Pillows, an absurdist approach to storytelling. So there's a robot in our house. Think of the symbolism involved to have a humanoid robot in a normal household, contrasted by the abnormal advance of science, which is thereby proven to exist. Consider the significance of a human family. And its very experimental nature, Fooly Cooly offers more to viewers than just a run-of-the-mill tale of how growing up sucks. Instead of a dialogue-heavy approach often associated with the young boy's search for their identity amidst a changing world, Fooly Cooly uses incredibly awe-striking, off-the-wall, all-guns-blazing animation to drive the tone of the story and instead explore the definition of identity. The show's plethora of visual styles ranging from the complex to the minimalistic help advance the continuing duality of Nauta. He views himself as a mature young man stuck in a world of childish adults while still having the appearance and mindset of a 12-year-old. Outside of Nauta's character, the story doesn't stop in being self-aware that it's an anime series. Fooly Cooly takes time to reflect on its own identity, such as being the average adaptation of a manga series, given that it's an OVA. Giving callbacks to its highly regarded 90s predecessor Neon Genesis Evangelion. What's he talking about? He wrote a whole book on the deep mysteries of Eva. Or adding more discreet fourth wall breaks sprinkled throughout the series. Those slow motion scenes are really tough, huh? Yeah, you have to hold your breath until they cut. You can get cramps from that, you know? What? I thought it was a special effect. You're doing the slow motion? The search for identity, in terms of Fooly Cooly, is being put in the mix of a crazy amalgamation of genres, like comedy, or drama, or romance, or action, or sci-fi, or horror, that never feels consistent or definitive in the end, even with the impending transition to adolescence. It's all a mess of uncertainties. And that's okay, because even the show acknowledges its own unpredictability. And with the release of Fooly Cooly Progressive and Fooly Cooly Alternative coming very soon, almost 18 years later. Holy sh holy sh oh my god, thank you so much, thank you so much, Toonami, oh my god, oh my f***ing- With new music from The Pillows and the return of character designer Yoshiyuki Sadamoto, we can only guess what's to come, or what'll happen next. But if one thing is for certain, is that nothing amazing happens here. Everything is ordinary.